Hi Harry, this is Gareth, wearing too many hats as always. Uh, but I just wanted to say to you, thank you so much for the things that you've done to help us out, me out and the town out. And you've got a lot to be proud of. I can remember bursting into tears in the town hall 12 months after coming home from Afghanistan and uh, in front of a full crowd and then you came and stood alongside me and uh, tried to keep me uh, in one piece while I, I finished reading a, a church lesson and uh, from that we were able to uh, build up and, and launch the, vet, the veterans group. So uh, that was the most important time I think for, for me uh, at a time when uh, we were able to make something positive come out of that and uh, you've got a lot to credit yourself for on that. We're going to be grateful, the town's going to be grateful and I will always be grateful and uh, that's the really important piece. But moving on from that we've been able to create some great memories and help a lot of people with the veterans group and that natural tie-in then with the VC gallery and it's from that that a legacy is going to be made that's going to benefit a lot of people for a long time and you've had a piece in that and uh, I think we've done well together and I'm going to thank you so much for that looking forward always there's more to be done and it's your spirit and it's your pa passion for just helping people and not asking for anything in return that's made this possible Harry you're a gentleman and I really do want to take my hat off to you. I haven't got one on, but watch out, watch this space. There's going to be a lot of hats in the future, and we still have a lot of fun, and we're still going to remember everything that you helped to start off. Thank you, Harry. Hiya, Harry, or Henry, as you're being called lately. Uh, about time you got out of bed and stopped skiving. Get some work done, boy. I'm sorry to have. Uh, missed you all this year has been a bad year for everybody but I know I don't really know what to say mate just take care as best you can hopefully see you soon I first met Harry in 2017 that's that's where I started with Harry okay and it started with me when I actually I had Elsa, all right, and walking around and you'd meet this chap down on the commons that looked a bit shifty, all right, with this bloody Scottish terrier that he had, like, you know, his, 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 his dog, Precious, what a bloody name, really, that was the slowest thing that I've ever met in my life, actually, if I'm honest. Yeah, but completely independent. And um, yeah, we just sort of, sort of just clicked. I so I I would hope, you know, that that that's how it how it was. You know, he just was very comfortable to talk to. And the one thing I realised about Harry, of course, was he has got very very exceedingly dry wit. You know, he's you know he's got some rather witty comments that he likes to have, but but still. And then the next thing, of course, was the VC Gallery. You know, that was a huge surprise, you know. The Ari got me going down there. And uh, I went down and, of course, I met up with lots of uh, other fellow servicemen. So, you know, he's just a wonderful man, you know. You know, the saddest thing that I heard was, of course, where he lost his dog, Precious. So, but, you know, for me, it's been one of the nicest things ever to meet him, and for me, coming into Pembroke, you know, I count him about one of the first friends I ever made. Yeah. That's a big pleasure. Hello, Harry. It's been a while since we've seen you, but I remember meeting you for the first time with Lynn when we went into the King's Arms and had a coffee. It was really nice and it was so good to hear about all the work that you and Lynn were doing together to set up the VC Gallery and to invite me to join and Ed for any input I could give. I've thoroughly enjoyed knowing you, Harry. It's been a pleasure. I hope you stay well and in the meantime, if I don't see you soon, I hope I will see you again at some point. Take very good care. Bye-bye. All right, Harry. Hopefully you'll be all right for a lot, lot longer yet. And uh, as Linda's just said, hopefully we will see you again soon. 
Bye for now. Wow, what can I say about our Harry? Um, known him since 2013, but I actually heard about him a few years before because he was really instrumental in helping my eldest son when he came out of the army. And um, he would call him his second dad. So I knew about um, Harry a long time before I met him. But I actually met him uh, when I was putting on a community event in the town hall. And it was um, all about uh, Silent Night leading up to Christmas and commemorating 1940. And I'd got some random bars of chocolate, which were replicas of that time. And we were putting on an event in the town hall and um, Harry was there. In amongst a lot of other people that were veterans that I had no idea about. But well, during the course of it, someone um, who's another veteran, who I'm sure might mention it in his thing, Gareth, actually had to read Soldiers on the Street. And it was a, a bit emotional. And at the end of it, I don't think it was a dry eye in the whole of the town hall. In 2014, uh, right at the end of Christmas, decided we'd set a veterans group up, got a local cafe to host it. And in January 2015, the South Pembrokeshire Veterans Group was formed. And Harry was the dad. He was the one constantly there. Um, he was a support for everyone. Just that solid figure who went the extra mile with everyone that I knew. He had a good sense of humor. Um, if you were a bit annoyed with him, then um, we could call him Henry. And that was my thing with him, he used to know. But we had a lot of banter going on. Makes a good brew and he's just been instrumental in the Pembroke area of helping veterans. He's just an incredible guy and I don't know how my life would be so different without him. Together we did so much with the veterans group, um, just always there, whether it was pouring with rain, whether he was ill, whether he was well, he made the effort to come and to be a friend to everybody. Um, lots of stories I could tell about him. He's just a great guy, dependable, trustworthy, honest, um, but with that sense of humour that all the veterans will get and know. And the only thing I didn't like about our Harry was that he loved Bovril. And I hate the stuff, and he was always trying to get me to drink it. And I think still down in the VC gallery in the veterans drawer, we have a jar of his and Billy's Bovril. So Harry, don't give me Bovril. I'm not gonna drink it, drink it yourself. Although I think today you actually told me you've gone off it. So maybe you might be a Marmite boy from now on. So I met Harry in 2007, very mutual friend. His dog was about to get a Nasbo for misbehaving and I helped him sort it out. He's alright for a grenadier guard. Bit of a TikTok, but there we go. He's been a good mate. He's also the fatherhood figure of the veterans community and the group in the area and he's helped me through some tough times. So here's to Harry. Right, Harry, they told me to get the back of this car to do this video in. I was about to take my clothes off and they've said it's not that sort of movie. So, good luck, hope you get well. Well, if not, we need to do a party, um, soon. Uh, so, all my love, all my cheers, and uh, I'm praying for you. Cheers. Hiya, Harry, this is Dennis Gold to the ex Royal West Fusilier. Uh, we met in the, uh, the uh, VC gallery some uh, times when we had our meetings and uh, we enjoyed your company. You were such a great guy, good laugh with everything you did. All I can say, I wish you all the best in everything that happens to you. Hopefully it won't be that uh, painful, but will God be with you and um, keep you safe. Hi Harry, um, or can I say the, the Cray, one of the Cray twins, that's the way I think of you um, from some of your stories back in the day, back in London, um, when you used to tell me some of your stories and uh, when you still tell me your stories, I really kind of get involved with some of the areas that you've been in in London and uh, 
I like to think over of some of the areas that uh, you, you got up to as a young boy and in regards to the, the, the Second World War bombing and all the things that you might have seen back in the bombing and the Blitz of, uh, of London. People probably don't know that about you, that you were involved in the Blitz and some of the, the, the places you used to hide as a kid were amongst all the rubble around, uh, around, around the areas of London that you were living. And, um, and also, you know, just the amazing kind of narrative that you've got around your life. And, uh, you know, be rest assured, it's a bit of adventure. And I will always remember those stories and uh, I will pass them on to other people as I am now. I think that your history is rich. I think it's uh, full of adventure, full of characters. You're being the main one of the, of, of the, the star of the show. And Harry, you know, or Henry, whatever you're called, you know, just uh, realize you've been a good friend to the VC Gallery. And uh, it's been by pure luck um, that you um, and Lynn and us found a way of working together for, between all the work you, Gareth, and Lynn did with the South uh, Pembrokeshire Veterans Group. And that you, I was blessed that you came to use our Pembroke Dock Gallery and that you fused both uh, all the really good hard work and support that you've given veterans through that group and that you used our location and that we've kind of had a synergy together and that we work together now between the two and they're indistinguishable between both South Pems and BC Gallery and, and I, I want you to know that, you know, long after you passed, we'll always remember you, I'll always remember you, my uh, little London gangster and uh, that you are a, a friend to the VC. Um, and you've definitely be a friend to some veterans that have needed help. And you've been a decent, God-fearing individual who I respect, I know who I um, will look up to. And uh, just to let you know that, you know, when I get to heaven, I'll look out for you, okay? And uh, I'll, I'll be looking forward for a catch-up. But uh, you'll always be a friend to us, and uh, thank you for all you've done for South um, Pembrokeshire veterans and also for the BC Gallery and uh, you're, a, you're a top egg, China. <laughs> <laughs>